digging out of what is quickly turning into cement. I'm going to try to show you, but first, just, just even, I can't even, wait, let's, just walking in this stuff, and this is like a relatively easy part. Look at this. As you go over here, and these are some of the properties we're talking about. When this hit last night at 7.30, it came down, and it brought the debris, taking fences with it. It was crazy. Let's go to the video, because it was actually still raining. Listen. And that was this afternoon just trying to get up here. Off and on, it's sunny now, but it's been going like this all day. People in vehicles were still being pulled out after getting stuck when they tried to get away last night. At least, and we're hearing that, and we're going over the numbers and waiting for more, but eight adults, six children, they're still trying to account for everybody, but it does seem that everybody is accounted for uh, fire officials giving an update right now. All this is debris from the lake fire. I remember it covered it two years ago in August, and we knew this could be a possibility. There hadn't been enough rain to really have substantial vegetation grow in that fire scar. So the worst of the damage off Pine Canyon Road, it seems, where there are several ranches and quite a few animal sanctuaries, including the Shadowland Foundation. Uh, well, the wolves and the humans are fine. They deal with wolves, but the debris, it came within literally feet of the animals in the humans' homes, and it was scary for these people. Listen. We couldn't have imagined this. This is... We're devastated. We have to rebuild. Oh, it's very bad. It's very bad. I mean, if you take a look, the park in the back, the pond in the back, it's full of mud. It's very bad right now. How quickly did this happen? Within probably a half hour or so. We are blessed. We have a friend who got stuck in her car. She has a little little bitty thing and she got swept two miles away the water came in and buried her in her car she got out climbed a tree and found her way to a house who got her airlifted out last night and uh, that resident was hospitalized, but she is okay. She was one of about 50 people who were rescued by emergency crews, six of them at least children. I'm waiting for the final update. No word on anyone unaccounted for at this point. If we come back live here, uh, really what seems to be the effort right now as you're looking at it, it's hard to tell, but those trees, th there's at least a foot to two feet of mud covering them and as we show you at six o'clock some of these ranches where some of these people are living it's going to take a while a lot of damage i'm going to put in our website at foxla.com some of the contacts for some of these rescues because they're going to need help from the people but as of this point right now nobody's seriously injured but let's see at six o'clock when they finish that briefing and we get the final information we'll keep you updated sun's shining though finally not a moment too soon for these people. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in Lake Hughes. Back to you guys. Good.